talk about my reaction to the gender reveal uh, right now that I, I'm already dressed and went to uh, going to the restaurant right now to eat something and uh, I'm still sh I'm still shocked like like I don't believe like I can't believe that I'm actually uh, having a baby girl because well because you know guys I had two boys I have two boys and with my first pregnancy I I thought it was a boy and with my second pregnancy I thought it was a boy again and I was right with this pregnancy I wasn't a hundred percent sure I wasn't sure who it was because I was like well if I already had two boys then maybe I'm just a maybe maybe I'm just gonna be a mama a mama of boys you know and that that's that's it so maybe uh, no matter what I do as far as methods and all that, I'm gonna have a boy anyway. So I wasn't very like hopeful about having a girl, and I was prepared because when we get when we got pregnant, we were especially me. I don't know about Daniel, but I was like more expecting to have a boy than a girl because. You know the, what I just said about just having I already had two boys, and I was okay with that. Like I was like, it actually easier in a lot of ways because I already have two boys, so I know how what to expect with a boy. And it's been an amazing journey as a mother of two boys. And so for me, having a third boy, I would be super excited and happy. And then when I found out it was a girl, like it was, look, like, I was shocked. I was like. Really, like it's like is it really true like uh, when you look at the ultrasound it's like I'm kind of in denial that like let's just do it uh, an ultrasound again make sure that it's a girl and really a girl um, and we did try the method if you watch my other videos we did try to get a girl and it worked so I'm also shocked that like it worked with us with this method of the shadow method it's supposed to work 75% rate of success that, but you can't guarantee that you will get a girl because it will depend on a lot of factors uh, but we did try to have um, intercourse further from the ovulation day to increase our chances to have a girl but it's still even though you increase the chances you still can have a boy so I don't know if they know uh, like did you did you feel like the same way like oh it's probably gonna be a boy but <laughs> no I knew it was a girl I thought it was a kid it was a girl <laughs> I think it's just so funny because last pregnancy he was sure it was a girl with the eyes and he was wrong and so no, this that time I was just saying this time I knew this time around like he said no I should know it's a girl I didn't take him seriously because it's like no he was already wrong once before <laughs> So oh, that's how I was just hoping it was a girl, but I know it was a girl. I knew it was. <laughs> well, he, he said a few things that he said that is different this pregnancy. First of all, uh, I had much more nausea than my first two pregnancy nausea to the point that it was morning, afternoon, and night. It wasn't. There's no such thing as morning sickness for this pregnancy. It's like all day sickness. And uh, with I. Samuel, I was able to, to tolerate. It was like I didn't feel like I needed medicine. It was it, 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 it doesn't feel it's always it doesn't feel good to have a uh, nausea. But with Samuel and Isaac, I was always able to just grab a snack like an apple or crackers. Or sometimes I had nausea right before a meal, like right before lunch or right before breakfast. And so whenever I would have the meal, then my nausea would go away. It's almost like signaling to me that you gotta eat, you know? And if I stand more than four or five hours without eating, then I'll start feeling nauseated again, like kind of reminding me that I need to go and, and eat my like my, my next meal. With the, this third pregnancy, I had nausea, and so I thought, well, you know, maybe I need to eat something, like maybe I need to uh, I woke up with nausea because I didn't have breakfast but after breakfast I would just continue with having nausea and then 
it's a nausea that like I couldn't like get up and uh, any kind of movement just walking around being on my foot it's just like everything's like make made me sick so this is one the major difference between the pregnancies the way I felt like as far as symptoms is the nausea thing like I felt much more nausea in this pregnancy but I know that people have different pregnancies and they have the same gender and I know people that have similar pregnancies and they swear that they are gonna have the same gender of the baby and ended up being like different genders so I know that doesn't mean anything but we've we've heard a lot of people saying that with girls you have more nausea than with boys and for me it is true for me now that i know that i'm having a girl for me it is true and the other thing is that my first pregnancy and the second pregnancy then it was telling me that you couldn't tell that i was pregnant if you looked at me like and he was looking me from the back like he couldn't tell that i was pregnant and because i had a lot of waist like a waistline but then this pregnancy daniel said that like i don't know if the way i walk or like even from behind he can tell that i'm pregnant physically speaking he thinks that i have lost a little bit of my waistline compared to the other pregnancies so maybe i'm retaining my liquid and he thinks that I may, um, like I'm growing differently this pregnancy as far as like my belly is like he, 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 for him it seems like that I'm growing maybe a little like quickly, more quickly than the other ones. Like he didn't remember that I was showing that much uh, bump at this point of my pregnancy. I'm 16 weeks now. He doesn't remember having that kind of bump when I was 16 weeks of pregnancy with Isaac. And I have weekly pregnancy photos from Isaac so I'm just gonna take a look and, and compare to see if like how how they match but in the morning my bell is like almost gone but you can still see a little bump and at night it's like double size like it's just a lot bigger and I'm in that stage that if I go to the, the mall it doesn't matter what time of the day in the morning people can't tell at all that I'm pregnant but if I am like in the afternoon like right now that is the end of the day that my bump is like bigger than ever like for the day at least uh, I'm in that stage that people won't ask if I'm pregnant or won't congratulate me because they would just keep wondering is that postpartum belly or is that like she's just fat like she has just have a, a big belly and so people don't tell me that they they like afraid of like telling like congratulations you're pregnant or anything like that anyways guys so just wanted to talk a little bit about it just to document as well like what I'm feeling right now but like I'm very happy and excited that I'm ha gonna have a baby girl can't wait to see the baby and what is interesting another thing that I thought maybe it's a boy is because when she did the ultrasound and she showed us a picture of the baby it looked like Samuel and Isaac like identical to because when Isaac was a little baby in the belly he was very similar and even when he was a newborn he was he had a lot of similarities with Samuel so doing the ultrasound the ultrasounds were very similar and so this ultrasound was also very similar um, and and so I thought maybe that's a sign that is another boy you know what I mean <laughs> but anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed watching the gender review and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'm sorry that I haven't done the weekly pregnancy maybe I'll try to do a summarize uh, about the first trimester or something but I, I did not have a lot of symptoms like my previous pregnancy that's why <laughs> I don't feel like there was anything to talk for weekly pregnancies but I'm gonna make a few videos uh, for you guys of like things that I think would be interesting to share all right guys I'll see you guys next next time thank you so much for watching bye, Take, bye.